Hey, me hearties, and welcome to episode three of map making with Jars Crafted or Captain Jars or whatever you like. Anyways, uh, today I want to show you the lane minions and the uh, uh, improved towers. Uh, now you did point out in the last episode that the uh, back towers, the second towers, as they are called, first towers and second towers, uh, that the second towers did not attack. Now that has been fixed. There is also a, a stronger effect on the back towers. Uh, if the first tower has not been destroyed, uh, which I will display. So if we go into game mode, uh, zero, so survival, we take a fun little effect that makes us really strong. And we start the map. We have our friendly little towers that hurt. We also have uh, less friendly towers which we cannot kill in any way and they hurt way more and uh, so that is so that you simply cannot run past the towers and uh, because you'd hopefully die if you do that that is the goal if you just try to run past the towers you're gonna die that is my goal <laughs> Uh, so that is what I've changed with the towers. I will also display that once I kill this one, uh, he will spawn and he will, his damage will be changed. But first of all, we have another thing to show you. Uh, we have minions uh, that are spawning in the center areas, uh, in all the areas in the center as of right now. We have these funny little zombie guys which we can kill because we are strong like that there is a timer that should be reset any moment now and once that timer is reset the zombies will spawn only if i am within the area because otherwise they would be spawning all the time and uh, so anyway uh, i will also show you that no mobs will spawn back here because this is the red uh, team's safe zone this is a safe zone for the red team they have their towers protecting them uh, they have their jungle and their jungler protecting them so no mobs should spawn behind here until a blue player comes along and kills their turret uh, this is no longer their safe area the blue team has invaded and they should no longer be safe so now the minions will spawn here as well another neat effect is that the skeleton or tower has spawned and the effect has been changed to withering until i kill him of course uh, so the lanes are pretty much in a completed state or a more complete state uh, we also have a, a reset of the entire map or the lanes uh, but i will not go through that today anyways let's go to the redstone we'll start off with the towers to show you the addition that is these six blocks uh, so the uh, modules that have these uh, blocks attached to it are all the first towers so the towers closest to the center closest to the enemy base the ones that do not have it is the second towers those that are closest to your own base so this tower is closer to the blue base than this tower uh, so what we are doing here is that if this tower is activated meaning that it will have a powered state like this this clock will be running this is simply the coordinates for the second tower and the effect of seven 
which is instant damage of three hearts, no matter armor or anything like that, even resistance, if we go straight through that and apply three hearts of damage. Uh, so that's how it works. Uh, the second tower gets applied this damage. It's constant. It doesn't have any values that it goes off except that you have to be on the enemy team and inside the tower's range. And uh, now once you defeat the first tower, this is the first tower once again, uh, the redstone block will disappear. This clock will completely turn off and then you will have the second tower giving you the withering effect if you get too close. So that is the change to the towers. Now over here we have a completely new section. I do not know why it keeps doing this. Sometimes it just simply leaves some of the redstone blocks behind. No, that was me. That was me. I'm, I'm kidding. Uh, actually, I could demonstrate this again. If you have this, and look over there, if you defeat the first tower, this is uh, summoning or starting this minion circle. As you saw, when I defeated the first tower, the minions behind it would become uh, would start spawning, and that is what this redstone block uh, did. So to explain how this redstone works, let me actually take out uh, most of the blocks here so it will work faster so you don't have to wait for it it is a very simple command we are testing for any player within the orange area uh, and these are one for each lane and one behind each tower so it's a total of nine spots the lane minions can spawn when the game starts off, only the center ones will spawn minions. And uh, so I've named them the middle middle. It's the middle lane, middle spawn area. It's the middle lane, blue side spawn area and the middle lane, red side area. So if we defeat the first blue tower, this will start and let's the uh, area behind that blue tower starts spawning minions uh, but if we go back to the function of this uh, once you step into the area anyone it doesn't matter what team you're on uh, this will give off the signal which activates this hopper timer and the first time it activates or the timer starts you will get a pulse from this one which will activate these four command blocks, which are all the same, except the coordinates, of course. Uh, it is summon a zombie with leather armor. There are no effects and etc. etc. Nothing, just plain old leather armor. They are all the same, different coordinates. So they will spawn in a cube, not a cube, a square. Uh, anyways, if I do take and copy this, I can demonstrate that if you stay within the area, this is now simulating a player uh, being in the area, you will see that this torch will continuously flash as soon as uh, the timer has reset. If I turn this off, it is going to uh, reset. And once a new player walks into the area, it is going to flash once, spawning mobs, wait, and then spawn mobs again until you leave the area, which is when it will stop spawning uh, mobs. So that's how the mob spawning works. Now these are all the same, just representing different areas. Now these two last ones I will go through in the next episode. But we have reached the 10 minute point, which is a completely arbitrary and non-important point uh, because uh, who cares? Who cares? Nobody cares. Uh, but anyway, I've gone through what I wanted to go through. Uh, I hope I didn't stir up any confusion inside you. 
<laughs> if I did, you will have to tell me as last time. You did a very good job telling me that I confused you. Uh, I hope I explained the uh, towers and the minion spawnings properly. Or at least demonstrated it properly because you did see how it worked. And uh, yeah, if you would like a more detailed description of how the map is going to work, uh, you will have to tell me in the comment section below and I will make a separate video uh, explaining everything about the how the map is going to work. Uh, since I did just a very short explanation on the first video and these effect particles are annoying me. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, so anyway, if you want that detailed description video, you will have to tell me in the comment section below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I shall see you Hello next time.